Hi everyone, this is Anne Emery with an Excel tutorial for evaluators. This video is about creating filters. Filters are one of my favorite features of Excel. They're a great housekeeping feature to have for all of your data sets, no matter what type. Now when I say housekeeping, here's what I mean. We have our raw data here that we haven't touched, and we have our clean data. I haven't started analyzing it, I haven't started recoding anything. I'm still in the housekeeping phase where I'm getting my spreadsheet set up exactly how I like it. I've got my panes frozen so that they stay steady as I scroll back and forth. I've got my headers all bolded so that they're easy to read, and now I want to add filters. Filters help you sort your data. So what some people do is they'll select their entire sheet, and they go to the data tab right here, and they'll click on sort, and they choose which column to sort by one at a time. Maybe they do it alphabetically, maybe they do it reverse alphabetical, whatever they need. Filters are kind of an enhanced way of sorting. It's a better way of sorting. So you just click on your first uh, row here where your headers are. You go back to the Home tab, and over here where it says Sort and Filter, there's uh, an option right here that says Filter. So when you click on it, now you can see your top row of headers has these little gray boxes with arrows on it. Filters are fantastic, so let's see why. Let's say if you want to sort by school level, elementary, middle, and high. You can do it alphabetically, elementary, and then high and middle. You can also um, just select a couple at a time. Let's say you only want to look at the people um, from the elementary schools and the rest of the responses aren't deleted, they're just hidden temporarily. And I don't know if you can see it, but on this filter you can see there's a little mark on it, almost like a little plus sign or a little cross that shows you that something is different with that filter, that you have hidden some data with that filter. So you can always just click select all and get all your data back. You could also, let's say, if you want to sort it, just to kind of explore and see what some of the patterns are. Um, this is just a really helpful feature no matter what type of data set you've got. So I hope you've enjoyed learning about some filters. Thank you.